You ready? It is Friday. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Shut off. <laughs> we are now live. Guys, you're going to have to bear with me a little bit because I have been trying to eat my food as well. Um, it was good that you did what you did there, Empire, by saying that. We were going to go live at the time that we did. Right, okay then, guys and boys and all the girls in the world. Uh, if I hit this button here now, we will be able to hear the guys that are waiting for us in Discord. Right then, as you appear in Discord, Dev, do you like to say hello? Hello. How are you? Fine, thank you. Yourself, sir? Um, to be fair, not too bad. Um... The type of day where you would have rather not opened the store and had an extra day because we had nobody through the door. Yeah. Mr. Empire that has set the route up today for us to fly these contraptions. That's all I'm going to refer to them as <laughs> frigging contraptions. <laughs> Thank you. Would you like to say hello? I'll, I can't be like Dev, so I just act normal. Hello. <laughs> wonderful, 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 wonderful. Let me just flick this screen over here one second. Oh. Never said I was normal. Well, <laughs> to be honest, I know that already that you're not normal. So, well, there you go. okay, guys. Okay, 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 okay. So, we are flying. We've kind of done everything that we can do. So, what we've decided to do, I'm going to sneeze, guys. Bear with me. I've had this all morning. Oh, gosh. Don't oh sneeze too, otherwise you'll take off before oh you gosh. need to. Yeah. Oh dear. Can I set... Yeah, does anybody know? If I can... I can set a default key for Discord, can't I? Which will mute the microphone and everything, won't, can't I? Yes, you can. Wonderful. You'll have to help me with that. Because I want it set for the same one that will disable um, the microphone on Discord as well. So we'll talk about that a bit later. It's just because I'm trying to change things around a little bit and, and do stuff and things like that. Uh, you've seen the command that I've put in Discord. It's actually been in Discord for a while, to be fair. Be happy, yeah. But I turned it off. Happy. Be happy. Because it, it's not running on the uh, timer. What have we got here from... Oh, I get... You know what? I've got... Oh, there it is. That's why I've got two messages. On. I've been really hay feverish since yesterday, even though it's winter. Yeah, and you know something? I don't normally suffer from... Um, Hey, fever cell. And I think what it is, it's probably just the amount of crap in the air. Mm. Oh, do you know what, Diablo? You are such a wonderful person. Let me say my hellos as well. Right. Who was the first one in chat? Mr. Empire, hello. <laughs> Mr. Devex, hello. <laughs> I'm not going to say hello to myself because I was the second one to write in chat. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Mr. Sheldev, hello. Sheldnov, sorry. And to the one and only, the man himself who comes in and says 50 will have an accident, Mr. Diablo Chango, hello. <laughs> right, guys, now, I don't know what these things are like to fly because, to be honest, I've never flown. Well, I probably have flown it when I first started the game because I was doing all the, you know, where you go through the squares and everything. Yeah. I was, do I was doing that and that was, God, many, many many these these aircraft is always the first aircraft that we see but we never officially have flown them <laughs> and you know if you take these off that startup screen it don't load properly does it if i remember rightly no it doesn't yeah exactly so look there's a reason why this is in it so guys okay i don't know how you you take well i can imagine how you take off and they've got no altitude hold or anything so do you know what i'm not impressed they've got no ils they've got nothing Nothing. It's just all manually, manual. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to put it on in a minute, show. I'm just um just indulging in some food. I've got oh guys, you got to 
you, honestly, you, you, you've, you've not seen this, but I'm going to go to the big cam because I've changed things around a little bit. Oh, my God, 50, you look handsome. <laughs> yeah. I've got one of these, look. It's so a, um, I have to go knows. to the right camera. I mean, <coughs> what is it? It's a it's fresh a cream strawberry tart. Ooh, and yes. I, 50 has to say, there are occasions when he loves a good tart. <laughs> Don't we all, but that's a different story. Well, that, I think that's just how it is. So what I'm going to do is the camera will go on in a bit, guys. I went shopping. This is why I do not go shopping with a good lady, because I buy a load of crap. And it costs me more than anything else. Right, guys, chilled out stream tonight. Let's see what we can do with this. Okay, okay, oh frigging K. Okay. okay, let's put the cam on so you can see my ugly mug. Right, here we go. Let's go, let's go, let's do this. Yes. I don't know what to do. That's the problem. Um, let's start by hitting that. And oh my! GSX I've just, doesn't even work for this. Well, I've put mine as a visual approach rather yep. than using an ILS because you wouldn't, would you? I would look for a tart, but if I found one, I would probably be busted in a prostitution sting. Um, to be honest, Diablo, they would probably let you go and say, do you know what? You look like you need it. Anyway. <laughs> right, so we'll request a straight out. Ultra light. So mine is taking me <laughs> like that. Mine is taking me to runway 22. Uh, mine's taking me runway 4. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, via, uh, runway 22 via taxi runway 4. Right, I will select another runway then. Uh, acknowledge oh, no. taxi clearance. I'm going to have to turn on progressive because there's no way I'm going to be able to use GSX on this. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's pull back. Okay, boys. We are going, and I'm going to go for that. I'm going to press that button there and see which way it turns me. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Oh, nice. Hit the right button. Oh, God. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. I've managed to get you all in this particular, um, what are they called again? Microlights. Yes. Yeah, yeah microlights. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, I've managed to get you in. Hopefully, I've got you all in this. I'm, I'm in the zebra scheme. Yeah, I didn't. I, I didn't touch that. It actually went in on its own, to be honest, which is good. Yeah, I'm in the red skin. Uh, I put you in the. I put you in the yellow one for me. Yeah, no is worries. It, is it me? But you, you guys are reversing, and yet I don't see a pilot. Uh, oh. It's you. <laughs> That's all I will Dev, say. Dev's, Dev's pilot just popped in all of a sudden, but he's got no legs. Well, I don't need legs to fly. As long as I've got arms, I don't mind. But what about the radar? Oh, don't worry about that. I'll just lean. <laughs> <laughs> lean. Oh. Oh, well, I might as well come to the same end of the runway you're going to then. Oh, gosh. That's a good thing, That's a good thing with this. It doesn't really know what runway you're taking, even no, though it gives you one, does it? Well, you don't need a lot of power, to be honest. It's just a taxi. No, I've noticed that. Okay, okay. Where's the horn? Okay. Say this is the first time for everything. You good to go, Dev? Yep, I'm just making a move now. Top of that, I'll let the gals go first. <clears throat> At least it's got a heading thing on it. I haven't even looked at any dials or anything in mine. I don't know what it does. <clears throat> it's pretty, uh, what you call it, basic. Um, I don't think we're going to need all the runway either, do you think? Yeah, I think we might. <laughs> yeah, Dev might need it because his, his, um, his aircraft is a lot heavier than us. 
Yeah, I, I did hear about all the mince pies. I, I I would take some off you, by the way. You know. Yeah, I've yeah. just eat, I've just uh, gone down and oh, eaten ten I've kilos got of Brussels. Stuck in the mud. I've got stuck <laughs> in the mud. At this speed, we can take off on the flipping uh, taxi. Taxi way. Especially how fast Dev is going. Oh, well, mine's stuck in the mud. That's better. Okay, so where do I actually Let's have a look? Put my lights on. I don't think I'll need all this runway, so to be honest. Do you think this is a glitch in the scenery? Why? The uh, missing part of the runway. I haven't got a missing part of the runway. Well, yeah, you just said uh, stuck in the mud. Oh, sorry. <laughs> on, the on the taxiway. Yeah, Did yeah, yeah, that? because it's like a um, um, a grass runway, isn't it, running across it? Yeah. Right, yeah. you know what's going to happen, don't you? Go around, guys. Go around 50 50. Yeah. never takes off first. I can't. I'm stuck in the mud. <laughs> it does. It yeah, gets so stuck I'm in right. the mud, don't so it? Right. Oh, gosh. I force you, Dev. Let me right. just. I'm going to try some things here and find out what this actually what it's got. View. Don't mind me back. Going around. Panel. It's got radio stack. Power on, standby, no hold. Okay, okay. Well, let's watch what it what. <laughs> Look at us. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh! You clipped me. <laughs> no, not me. You clipped me, lot. It's literally just shown it. <laughs> no. Nope. Zoom in. It isn't. Um, Dev, I wouldn't just go all the way down there. Why don't you just uh, take off from here? I would say you can take off from anywhere on these. Yeah. I need half an inch. Oh, that's why I was going to go see if I can take off widthways rather than lengthways. No, I think you can just take <laughs> off straight away on this thing. Right, I am ready. Good luck. I've got requests for take off. Okay. Right, wonderful. Acknowledge takeoff clearance. Right, let's see you guys. What do we have? Dev, are you going to go first? I am on the <laughs> runway ready. Wonderful. You have clear to take <clears> off. <throat> right, clear to take off. I'm going. Just watch the uh, bunny rabbit crossing the road. I want to see how uh, this all works out, to be honest. Well, at least we can enjoy the scenery. What altitude did you guys go for? There, I'm up already. <laughs> hmm? That is nothing. That is less than. That is probably less than five feet takeoff. Yeah, well, these don't need nothing, do they? Wow. Right, I've got been given eight thousand five hundred. These can go up to sixteen thousand. Well, I went seven thousand to be fair. Nice. Mr. Empire. Yep, on my way. Right. <laughs> oh, kind of liking this already, to be honest. Oh, dear. Use the, use the whole runway for this because uh, I'm an expert near helicopter. Um. I'm sure if you leave the throttle at a certain percentage, it will hold, won't it? Oh, it, it should up, do that. Nice. Black Fox. Hello, hello, hello. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas to you. Right, okay, guess what? 50 is going to go. And we are up and up and away, boys. Ultralight is a fun to flower. Oh, wonderful. Well, we'll try them and see how we go.
You guys heading in the right direction? <laughs> yeah, I've got the GPS sat well, nav on. Landing gear's up. <laughs> <laughs> America's having a year. Thank you very much for that, Black Fox. Oh, it takes nothing to get them up, does it? No. Nope. Oh, they're viewed quite higher than me. There, you're literally in front of me. Yeah. And I can see you. Yeah, when you put it on full throttle, it stays there, don't it? Yes. Okay! This is the speed I'm just trying to keep up. <clears throat> Water balloon drop. Do you know some honest and truthfully we'd be better at these at about two and three thousand really? Yeah. Turbulence is nice on these. I'm coming up to uh, 33,000. It says, take bets on the size of the car. <laughs> oh, leave me alone. Right, so I'm coming up to 3,000 now. Well, I think it's descending all of a sudden. I'm uh, trying, to get it, you know, trying to get it to level off. And yeah, I don't think you can level off. I think what you do with these is it's that up and down motion. <laughs> Could you have a dog fighting ultralights? Yeah, why not? We'll try, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look around in this thing. Just have to keep notching the stick up a bit every time. Ultralight traffic is 6 o'clock, 3 miles at 0, Cessna, Caravan, report them in sight. Ultralight have the Cessna, Caravan in sight. to set this up a bit now. There we go. If you're scared of heights, guys, uh, don't look for the footwell. <laughs> yeah, I did notice that, to be honest.
Okay, so we're up, that's it. That's all you do on these things. Cheers guys, still Christmas for me. I'm Canadian, duct tape is a must have. Um, we've got all that stuff from the Americans now, Gorilla Tape and all that kind of stuff. But I think it's the same as what we'd refer to as duct tape. But I think Gorilla Tape is supposed to be stronger. Why do why am I higher than you guys? Good question. Why, why am I higher? Where we are you at? Well, because I'm, you're man of photo rating. I'm at f just coming over five thousand. It was telling me to. It was thousand. telling me to go to um, seven, wasn't it? Have a look. Actually, it didn't tell me to go to a. Yeah, it just told me to go straight out, but. But you go, I'm going to try and see if I can level this off now. Let's just do yeah, that. Yeah, I'm, I'm just coming up a little bit higher. I'm at 3,500 at the moment. I'm just trying to work out how to uh, level it off. Let me just pull back. Right, okay, yeah, yeah. If you pull slightly back on your... Right. Yeah, it will always descend. Trying to work this out. Yeah. Come up to five. There's only um, Dev. Yeah. Have you crashed or something? No, I'm up in the air. Okay, Wig is on uh, FSX. It's saying that you're on the ground. <laughs> yeah, it's um, is red. Yeah, I'm definitely up in the air. Yeah. I'm at same. four. I'm at four thousand. Coming at four thousand one hundred feet. Right. I'm managed. I've managed to keep mine kind of steady. at five seven. Oh, here we go yeah it kind of will stay steady but it's a tricky it's a tricky thing it is tricky yeah you have to really play around with that throttle just a little bit it will climb probably slowly what is your power max uh, 50, uh, my power is RP is a 5541. Where it says your um, rev, revs, yeah, see the, see the little yellow square. If you press the little yellow square underneath it, it flicks you to percentage as well 85%. Yeah, I'm at 85%, and it's kind of holding at 5769, so it's kind of, I think that might be right, looking at if we, because I'm only going to go to 7, and it kind of looks, yeah, it looks kind of steady to me, that does. Yeah, it looks steady, that does.
So you guys are. Um, I've got somebody at four. I'm just going to show it four two. Um, somebody's just coming up to six thousand. Yeah, I'm at four two at the moment. Coming up. About four. I'm at five seven Empire. Yeah, and I'm just climb. I'm just climbing slowly. I don't think there's any point getting any, getting high. You know, there's no point getting high too quick. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Need to get this chair sorted out. I've got a chair, a new chair as well. And guess what? It creaks like a motherfucker. I'm gonna have to get some. Uh, what you call it? Either duct tape on it or some. Guns ready, armed missiles, these things. Uh, what have we got here? So. And we're heading to November Zodiac Mike Oscar. The time's not dropping down. I'm like, what? What, the time? Yeah. E.T. E.T.A. Zodiac. What's your E.T.A. Dev? Uh, fifty-five minutes. Well, you can do Zodiac or Zulu. Five. Yeah. Turn the ignition off. <laughs> I just want to see what these things do as well. They don't do anything. Communication radio stack off. I just want to see if there's anything on it that that says percentage. That's feed. After a few more drinks, we can make our own alpha, alphanetical alphabet. Yeah, of course we can. Crash into Empire. Okay. Okay. Really? <laughs> That's. Really? Oh, it's chronic. Oh my God, chronic gaming. I'm holding, well, yeah, I'm kind of doing alright on that one. Let's see where the guys are. I actually use my uh, keys, up and down keys, to get it right, and it seems to hold. So oh, okay. I'm well, you can to, uh, you can do the same with the stick, because I'm holding kind of steady up around about 5, 8, 4, 6. If a controller, you just have to hold it with your thumb all the time. But I'm oh, no. For an hour. I'm going to get a thumb ache. No, I'm kind of alright like this. And to be honest, um, the height that I'm at, scenery don't look too bad either. No, I'm cheating. I'll just wait something between the um, the base of the uh, joystick. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Will it work? We're going to have to look now, Dev, because you've been flying with us long enough. You need to get yourself a flight stick, young man. Uh, by well, the way, the fire stick is a well. I'm going to get a new Hotus or whatever, but I'm using the Satek uh, Fly Five at the moment. Yeah, Black Fox, thank you for that. That's good. That is because the bundle wasn't that bad a price, to be honest. Although you could have still got Devil's Door to free. Watch my videos if you get stuck. Are you joking? Um, I tell you what, I enjoyed yesterday. I did enjoy. Uh, transport fever. I I am I, I'm, I'm really enjoying that because it takes a lot to play that. Well, I was I wouldn't say it takes a lot to play the game. I think I like it more because of the in-depth stuff that you can do on it. That's what I'm liking in it. I'm enjoying transport fever. I didn't think I'd enjoy it as much as I was, but I, I did a. Normally, when I play games like that, what I tend to do is I tend to um, learn on the stream. But because it was Christmas. Um, when the grandkids came round and they were running around like idiots, I locked myself in the room and started playing it. <laughs> I literally just locked the door and they kept banging on the door. Grandad, grandad, grandad. I said, leave me alone. You've knackered me out. I've had enough. And I was playing it for a good few hours. I've racked up nearly 25 hours on that game already. I'm really enjoying it. I'm now just making money. I don't know what I'm going to do on Saturday. I don't know if I'm going to stream Saturday night or not. I'm not quite sure. Because with the Christmas being around, Grandad did it in the lobby. <laughs> yeah. No, don't. No, it's not a bad joke. <laughs> it's not a bad joke, don't worry. 
whenever they come round and they start winding me up the first thing I do is I go do you know what guys I've had enough and I go straight into my room lock the door and all they keep doing is banging on that door I still can see the airport from here where it's just taken off from <laughs> these things don't well if you think about it they're only doing about 60 knots aren't they yeah what does yours say, Dev? What are you doing? What speed are we doing? Um, uh, fifty-one knot. Fifty-one. I'm doing sixty. Come on. Yeah, no, no. That on your display is in miles per hour. Oh, you're right. You can't change it, can you? No, I'm looking at the uh, con uh you know, let's shift Z. Oh, don't worry about that. Now let's look on this. I'm doing All the right. same. Well, if 60 I do miles an hour on my display. Okay, what's this? Yeah, fifty-one ks ki. AS, so that's just true speed, isn't it? Doing 62. Mm -hmm. That's because you're dropping. <laughs> you're falling out of the sky, young man. Uh, hold on a second. Oh, Sorry, you are joking. Like Come on, the ETA is an hour and two bleeding minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I've just looked at that. What the hell? <laughs> Yeah, can, it's only it's only thirty it's only twenty minutes. I can run faster than this. <laughs> well, okay, so you know what fifty does when we've got flights like this, as much as I love them. Let's pick a topic of conversation, guys. Okay, so conversation topic, street. Topic of conversation. We'll go for we'll have a look what chat would like a topic of conversation. I've got my um, own topics of conversation because I can talk for England. Question from Mr. Fox, is there a specific order to Sherlock? Yes, there. Um, no, there isn't. No, there is not. No. No. Um, because the, if you go, if you, the only way you can work it, um, Fox, if you go online. Did you recommend a start game for her? Yeah, what I'm saying, this is what I was going to say. If you go online and put the year they were released, okay, and play them in that order, you'll kind of follow it better because that's what we've tried to do. So just go into Google and put release dates of Sherlock Holmes trilogy or Sherlock Holmes games and it will give you a whole list. Then if you play them in that order, you'll understand where they've updated. Now, you may have some issues where you may not be able to do certain things in the game because of how old the graphics are. That's what I had an issue with. Some of the graphics, like, um, they've gone from DirectX 9, because I think we started off really right about direct 8 9 10 you got 11s now some of them have got the new up-to-date um direct x's in it and it does give you an issue when it comes to um playing some of the games so look enjoy it as much as you can because i'm enjoying it i am really enjoying it to be honest and i hope you have a lot of fun Laura Emily hello 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 my little darling how are you how are you did you have a wonderful Christmas sweetheart a 50s um put some more boot polish on his beard seen that dev no, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to look at this. Uh, large 50. Look at that. I put a bit more boot polish on because it was looking like Santa Claus. Oh. I was kind of thinking to myself, do you know what? It's Christmas is over now. <laughs> 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 oh, that's good then. Christmas is over I now. I see you went for the cheaper option of boot polish then. Well, I'm not paying five, I'm sitting nearly seven pounds for that bloody, what you call it. <laughs> Mine... Just for men. Oh, oh, I'm going to tell you a story now. I'm going to tell you the story. I'm going to do this. I think I think I did it last night as well. So, right, this is what happened. Okay. So, at half past six, I'll repeat that again. At half past six, and I'm going to repeat that again. <laughs> at half past six, on Christmas Day, 50 got up. 50 was then told he had to go down to 
Gemma's, who's my daughter, and watch the grandkids open their presents. Okay? Because they wanted Grandad to be there. I then go down there, and I'm sat there thinking, it's nearly 20 to 7, and I'm at my daughter's watching the grandkids rip through these presents like a hurricane, and then having to do the granddad thing, which you'll um, understand here, Dev, building everything. Yeah. That's the only reason I was there, to build everything. To build, yeah. Thank of course. you. So I'm, you know, if I go down on my knees, it takes a crane <laughs> to get me back up. <laughs> Let's put it that way. So I'm down there trying to build these bloody, what is it, Elsa's castle and all this kind of stuff. And I built a, oh, I, I tell you what I did enjoy. I built... I think it was one of those ice cream trolleys from oh, Leapfrog. Right, yeah. yeah, it was a Leapfrog ice cream trolley. And when you put the ice cream, uh, when you put your little ticket in the till, it makes a noise and then tells you what ice cream she's got to make. I was on that for 20 minutes. Because <laughs> she kept going, yeah, going uh, well, it took me about five minutes to build the thing. Because fortunately, everything slotted in. You just click, 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 which is quite good for Leapfrog. I'll give them credit. And um, I then had a cup of tea, so I then had to drop Janet at work for 8 o'clock, so I dropped Janet at work for 8 o'clock. Then I was told, I've got to go up to, if you know Nottingham, uh, you've got, you've got um, a place called Kirkby, Sutton in Ashfield and Mansfield. So I had to go up to Sutton, drive up to Sutton, which means... I didn't even have a drink. I couldn't have a drink. Laura, thank you very, very much for that host. So I couldn't have a drink. And I'm then getting anxious now because it's Christmas Day. And I'm thinking, I want to have a drink. So I can't have a drink. I've then drove up to Jason's, my son, and watched the other grandkids open their presents. And I'm sat there. But, 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 I'll give Jason his due. Jason made me a bacon cob, which wasn't enough for me. So he then made me a sausage cob, which was just enough and a cup of tea, did that. So I was up there for about an hour and something. So we're now looking at about mm, six, seven, drop down off at eight, two hours, nine. So we're looking at about 10, 10, 15. And I've not had a drink because it's Christmas day. And I'm tired because I didn't go to bed till late Christmas Eve. So I'm then thinking, oh great, that's good. I can uh, drive back, you know, get in my normal house clothes and then I can have a drink because Joshua was here. So then I realised, oh no, I can't do that because I've got to go to my sister's because my sister's holding Christmas dinner for my mum and my older sister. So I thought, okay, you know what? This is going to be a great day. So I'm kind of getting agitated and fed up now because at no stage did any alcohol past my lips so I'm then driving back home now I couldn't go up to my mum's until two o'clock because that's what time they were meeting and I caught thinking I caught kept thinking to myself I've got to sit around in the house and wait and you can't have a drink really because obviously you know drink and drive normally on Christmas day the police write in force because they'll catch somebody or you know the night before so I'm then going, right, okay, this is gonna this is now beginning to irritate me because me and Joshua sat here and Joshua's going, I don't really want to go. Because he was working that night as well, so he was tired. This is all Christmas Day. Then out of the blue. And this is out of the blue. Janet calls me. Because I, I had to prepare all the food, so Janet went. Can you go into the fridge and just check the turkey? And I went, why, Janet, why am I going into the fridge now when I'm going to get it out, get it all prepared? She goes, Dave, go into the fridge, because she does that when I don't listen to her. She actually raises her voice. <laughs> so I go to the fridge, I open the fridge, and I'm going, what the hell is that smell? I go to the freaking turkey, and the thing's yellow. No. Oh, God. Honestly, and Janet's already put, this is Janet now, because she tries to help me out as much as she can. She put all the bacon around it. She'd already put all the stuffing in and everything on it. So this this chicken now, this turkey now is all ready to go. All I've got to do, yeah, is take it out, yeah. put it on a tray, put it in the oven, and cook it for a few hours. And 
I says to Joshua, Joshua, just come here and smell this chicken. It don't, it don't finish there. Just come here and smell this chicken. So Joshua's going, oh, that don't, that don't smell good, you know, Dad. That doesn't smell good at all. And I'm going, no. So I've got Janet on the phone, and Janet's going, she's trying to scream at me, and I didn't have it on loudspeaker. <laughs> so I'm then going, um, do you want the good news or the bad news? So she says, good news. She says, the chicken's not been cooked. And then the bad news, I said, look, it stinks and it's yellow. She goes, you're going to have to chuck it because what's made me call you is she bought two. She bought one for work because she was cooking a meal at work and she brought one for us. And they were both off, literally, to the state that it smelt like raw offal. So I had to oh, chuck God. that. I had to chuck it in the bin. So all of a sudden, Janet's going to me. This is this is a, a woman's way of thinking. So what are we gonna do? And I went, well, we're not gonna have chicken. Let's put it that way. So she goes to me. We've got to do something. And I went, Janet, it's Christmas Day for God's sake. What am I supposed to do? So because I have a conscience. This is only because I have a conscience, and I do love my missus very dearly. <coughs> God forbid. Now, I felt a bit bad because we'll kind of work out what we're going to have. So I went in the car, and on Christmas Day, no word of a lie, I'm driving around trying to find somewhere that sells chickens. So the only shops that were open were the Asian shops and some of the Polish shops. And when I walked in, oh, they've got a great freezer area. What is it with these small, uh, these small stores? Or how can I put them? Uh, what do they call them? General convenience. Stores. Yeah, convenience that's a convenience. Okay, yeah. These small convenience stores that they will not take a risk in in their freezer these great big long freezer fridge things they've got they won't put chickens in and I think it's because they don't last that long anyway so I am now searching around trying to find a chicken that we never found I then come back home phone Janet and say I've been out looking all over to get a chicken and do you know what she said I have to guess what she said. Well, you're not going to find one because nowhere's open on Christmas Day. <laughs> and I just literally went, okay, I'll see you later. Bye. So then I thought, <clears throat> I've had enough of this now. So I drove up to my sister's and thought, I'm going to drop the card off and all the things that I've left for my brothers and that that was that, that we're going to go up for Christmas dinner. I knocks on my sister's door. She's not hearing me. So I called her, the phone rings off. I thought what I'm going to have to do is walk around the back of her house. She's got this what's called PK, you know what the PK um, flooring is? Yeah. It's like what they used to have in schools, the little small squares. Yeah. So she's got it on her decking around the back. So I walked through the gate, went round the back, and I went arse over tit and nearly broke me back. Ow. Parquet, sorry, that's it, parquet. Okay. And I honestly, I hit that floor with such a thud. I was kind of down there for a minute going, oh God, what have I bleeding done? And I'm trying to get back up and I'm slipping because this floor was like an absolute ice rink. Do you know when I looked up, my sister's in the kitchen looking at me on the floor. And she's going, what's happened? I goes, well, first of all, you don't put this stuff outside. She goes, it's outdoor decking stuff. I goes, well, it needs sorting out because it's an ice ring. I nearly broke my back. So I was up there for an hour, and then I drove back to cut a long story short. And I went, do you know what, Joshua? Sod everybody, we're going to have a drink. And that was my Christmas day. So I'm never going to forget that Christmas day for a very long time. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And I'll tell you what else is unbelievable. We're only going to get this one flight done, you know. Yeah, I think so. Honestly, Laura, if you do, do you know, 
it's easy enough the way I'm telling you, but if you'd have actually seen me, I was like a ball of crap, to be honest, when I hit that floor. Because I actually thought that I'd really done some damage. I really thought I'd done some damage. Because I kept thinking to myself, the way I hit that floor, and I kept, I, I honestly, I had all this brown crap all down the side of me, closing everything, the lot. I'm not going to, honestly, I'm not going to forget that. And then Janet came home at, and I actually got in the house at about quarter to three. And then we, oh, the, the chicken thing, we had some frozen chicken portions in the fridge, in the freezer. So we had to take them out and defrost them. But I think the, the, the way we looked at it is that even if you get a chicken you end up cutting it up anyway so it was no different to be honest all she did she got the chicken portions and we had quite a few because we get them bags where you get something like 10 or 12 pieces and yeah, we um, get yeah i do because when i come in what i tend to do is i just drop a couple in and i'll do some rice and i'll eat it with that or season it up and we sat there and had that and it was a nice meal as well to be honest and then we had a game of gym rummy you know what Jim Rummy is? Yeah. Yeah, we played that as well. So it wasn't that bad a day, to be fair. And it was only the three of us at the end of the day. And then on Boxing Day, we had all the grandkids round, which is a complete nightmare. So I've had, I've had a reasonable Christmas, to be honest. I've had a reasonable Christmas. Why does that thing look like it's not moving? <laughs> I'm falling asleep. Can you wake me up when I get there? What the? Fuck? What's your ETA? Fifty, forty minutes. Right. Okay. Because mine says three days and a week. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Uh, mine is forty-one days. Sorry, forty-one minutes. Okay. So I do apologise for this, guys. The sim is, is actually it? working. It hasn't frozen. Is it days or years, Dev? Years. <laughs> I'll be honestly, when you look at these, they do look quite good, don't they, really? If they say it's all free. Yeah, I'll tell you something. Um, if it was 41 years, mate, I'd never finish this flight. Honest to God. <laughs> Laura said, hello, Empire. Hello, Dev. Hello. Good evening, Laura. Laura, but... can you start pedalling for me to speed up my aircraft? Appreciate it. Oh, I might have to put those 10 kilos of Brussels to work in a minute. We're going to have to do something. I suppose it gives us a chance to have a good uh, conversation. <laughs> but So, how did your Christmas go, Dev? Mine was all right. Um, I, was, I was up about 5 o'clock, because I always do the crisp dinner on yeah. the morning. I've never done a turkey the night before. So I was about five o'clock getting everything ready to uh, family camera. So lunch was dished up for about one o'clock. That's not too bad, that. Yeah. I was knackered by the end of the day. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, that's how I was. I was quite. I was really tired. About to about five, six o'clockish. I was starting to get really tired. And look, when I'm when I get tired, I'm. I won't say I'm mardy, but I'm very. All right. Okay, you know, I'm because it kind of knocks the wind out of you. So, Mr. Empire, how did your day go in your new house? First day, really. First, do you know what? Don't be so damn boring. What? A normal day. Yeah. So you're telling me that you eat turkey every day and you go out and spend all that money on that amount of food every day? No, I just had a flight from Iceland to Jordan. Was that Empire didn't... Toby here one of those um, turkey micro meals for one? Mm. Funny, dear. Funny. <laughs> <coughs> I have to say, I did notice that that you streamed up. Was it Christmas Day you streamed? Yeah, I streamed on that day. Warm me out afterwards, especially it was almost two and a half hours. I noticed that because I did log in. I mean, I logged into Discord in that, and because I think. What it was for me was we were just sat there, me and Joshua, and it's Christmas to me 
is one of the times where you try your best to spend it with the family. For me, I've not really done a lot of Christmases without Janet, if you understand. And, and to be fair, Janet's one of these where she's already sorted everything out, it's all prepared, Christmas is done before it's even started, if you get what I mean. She knows what she's going to do, how she's going to do it, when it's going to be done and things like that. And nine times out of ten, because she's the way she is, I'll just go, what do you want me to do? Nothing. All right, you, 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 go, you go on your computer, she says. And I'll go, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, Boxing Day. I wasn't going to stream on Boxing Day because I thought we'd sit down and watch. And she goes, I think, I think what she does is she probably looks at either how happy it makes me or the enjoyment I get from it. I think that's why she does that, to be honest. So, you know, she said that, and nothing I would do fires up still. Eh? Hey? Oh, okay. If you're having an issue. Are you on about? I don't know. You, you're losing me, Black Fox. You're losing me. And nothing I will do fires up stream. Is it stream or steam? I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I um, I think the thing with me is though, I I, I kind of sometimes live in this room because I can do a lot of things from this room. I watch television. Uh, we husbands ask if they, yeah, yeah, if we, yeah, we do, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, because I'm I'm kind of one of these where it's not that I can't cook, and it's not that I won't cook. It's just the fact that um, we're going to have to sort your noise gate out, you know, Dev, because I'm hearing myself repeat back to me every time I'm speaking. Bibbly likes hearing himself. I mean, uh, cough, cough. <laughs> well, I, I talk a lot anyway, so I don't mind that. To be fair, I really don't mind that. But we keep saying we were going to help Dev with his noise gate. It's a simple yes, fix. It's did. not. Yeah. It's not difficult, Dev. And I'm not having a go. Just I don't want to hear myself. But I mean, actually, we could do it now. No, I've just muted it. Well, we don't have to because we can do it now while we while we've got like four days to spare. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> honestly, on, honestly, open up. Go into your cog wheel at the bottom of your uh, where where it shows your name at the bottom of uh, Discord. Click the cog wheel for me, please. Yep, done that. Go to audio, video, uh, voice and video. Yeah. And you've got an automatic determine input sensitivity. Yeah. So what you need to do is where you see, whenever you speak, it goes into the green, doesn't it? Uh, mine can, yeah, yeah, eventually goes into the green, yeah. Right, okay. So what you need to do is, as you're speaking, if you pull it back, it'll lower the noise gate. So, in other words, as you pull it to the left, it lowers the noise gate. As you pull it to the right, it gives the noise gate a bigger area not to catch sound, if you understand. Yeah. So, when you start, because when I speak, if I, you don't hear a lot of things in the background on mine, because mine's kind of quite close to the um, noise gate. And that's what you set. Hang on, I think that's right, isn't it? Automatically determine the sensitivity. Yeah, that's right. So, if you count to 10 and keep lowering it to the left we'll tell you when we can't hear you I think you've gone too far <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, what I've, what I've played, I'm only joking I've got, I've got the yellow bar on the my left and the green bit of the bar on the right yeah that's right but you've got a white marker in the middle yeah well, that white marker you can slide it up and down to connect get your sensitivity which means yep. when you stop speaking it won't pick anything up in the background. Well, I've got about minus 43 decibels at the Well, moment. mine is on 64, minus 64 decibels. Right, bear with me. Right, that minus 65, one. Two, because what yours three, is doing four. is yours is, yours is, yours is just picking up background sound.
Oh, you might have it's to go... Yeah, well, I've got also picking up the voices too when someone speaks. Yeah, that's what it's doing. Or you might have to go push to talk. Or mute the stream. Oh, that's an idea. Just mute the stream. Yeah, problem solved. <laughs> because you can hear what I'm saying anyway. You're lucky yeah. my stream room is in the living room and my wife is right beside me. You know, look. I've said this before, Mr. Fox, right? And I, I say it again. I don't know how lucky I am. Because I'm fortunate to have a separate room. Um, and look, I'll explain what it is. It's, it's my conservatory. We had the extension. Well, it used to be the bathroom and we converted it into a conservatory. Now, because of this wonderful weather that we have in England, a conservatory is something that you don't get a lot of sun in over here so we weren't using it and what we did we were putting all the kids toys in there and um it became a dumping ground oh that's good that's good then if you're both into it that's brilliant i dual stream together oh that's brilliant that is I, I, in a way i wish that my missus was into this in a way but she's not into this at all so i've all i've done is just converted it let me just check where I am as well. Let's have a look at my height. Oh, I'm holding steady at 5681. I'm at 0097. Well, two seven. of our kids moved out and we thought about moving the computer to a room. Yeah, I've, I've been upstairs in the kids' room. I've been upstairs in the attic room. I've been across in the other spare room that I've got and I ended up downstairs. And in a way... I kind of like it where I am because I'm right next to the kitchen. So the best thing about this is we've got um, we've got a front room, we've got a bit of a hallway, then we've got a back room kitchen, then we've got the um, conservatory. Now, me and Janet used to live in that in the front room, always watching television when the kids were at home. They were in the back room. That was their room. They had all their stuff in there. The lot. I used to have my computer when I first got into computers. I used to have all my computer gear in the back room. I built a, a workstation. There you go, look, eight steps from the desk. So you understand what coffee, tw yeah, yeah, that's what I like. So for me, it was all about when I started streaming, Janet moved into the back room because the kids have grown up and they've gone away, got their own houses. Great. One's at university, so they're all gone now. We've got this great big house with two spare rooms that we don't we don't use. We've got a living room right at the front of the house that we have. To be honest and truthfully, I think the first time we went in it this year was to put the tree up. And that is the God's honest truth. That's how bad it is. So that's one of the reasons why I'm looking to downsize. We've just got a big house with two of us rattling around in it. And to be honest, it, it, it's just a waste of space. It really, really is. When I know that, you know, we could sell this, a family could move in and it would do them to the hilt. Because there used to be, let's have a look. There used to be, one, two, three, there used to be five, five of us. Which was brilliant. When the It's always nice, isn't it, Dev, when the house is buzzing with kids in that lot. It really is. Yeah, but, um, sometimes even better when they go home again. Yeah, and, and, and I'm at that stage now. I'm at that stage where... It's just me and Janet, and we're literally just pottering around in this house. That's all we're doing. You know, we decorated right the way through about a year or so ago. I mean, after the house does look nice, but at the end of the day, we need to sell and and put this camera on. We need to we need to sell and move on. We do now at the moment. So it's just too big. The house is. I right, don't know if I'm going to... out, apparently. I don't know if I'm going to make these, um... Hills that are there. Yeah, we have one more kid to go. What hills? <laughs> Eight more years. And it's fly, little birdie fly. Oh, God. I can remember round about... What was it? I'd say... When I got to the age of about 19, 20, I was itching to get out. And I got my own flat. I put myself... And do you know when I first moved out, I went on the council list... Oh my God. And it was a four year waiting list as well. 
I remember getting my first flat, block of flats, on the ninth floor. Loved it. And then I started missing my mum's cooking. So I was forever going to work, going to my mum's, having something to eat, coming home. And then I started thinking, I'm not even cooking in this flat or anything and all this lot. So I gave that up, went back home for a bit. And then I got into the pub trade. And when I got into the pub trade, nine times out of ten when you're in the pub trade, most of the jobs and places you go to come with a flat. So I was <clears throat> Manchester, Ipswich, here, there, living in different flats, which was nice. I mean, I loved it because at that age, you're traveling around, you haven't got to pay accommodation, you've got drink on tap. <laughs> it was great. Literally. Honestly, it was absolutely brilliant. I never had to pay for food because um, <clears throat> I was running these places that did food and everything. And <clears throat> because I was probably round about deputy manager, manager, um, the chef would always make me breakfast, make me a dinner, things like that. And it was lovely. It was always the done thing when you got to a certain age to move out and get your own place. Nowadays, it's just too expensive. It costs too much. Yep. A lot of the youngsters can't do it. I mean, they, they, they struggle as hell to make a deposit to put down on a house these days. And a lot of people have this... A lot of people have this philosophy about not owning a house now because of the upkeep, maintenance and all that kind of stuff and the bills. So they tend to rent. Uh, when you're renting it's down to the landlord to take care of the majority of the things especially the maintenance all you have to do is upkeep on the bills the poll tax and all that kind of stuff which is a lot easier so you then try to work out who is better off the house owner or people that are renting yes a lot of people do turn around and say well in the long run you never own the property so it, it then takes you longer to get on the property market. But then if you look at it from a monetary point of view, you haven't got to fork out all that on maintenance, upkeep, and, you know, the little things that we get let down on by the government. So it's like that. And I'm well, fortunate I bought, we bought this house in the 90s when they were reasonably cheap. Yeah, we bought it early. I think we bought this house 91, I think it was, or 90, I'm not quite sure. Um, <laughs> Go on. Mountains up ahead. I'm I know, I've, I've, seen, um. I've seen them, and I'm trying to work out how low I I can go up anyway. I'm just trying to work out how low I am. At right, the moment, right, right. it looks right. like this thing is static. Go on. I'm just about to come over the mountain, so I uh, carry I'm at six thousand. And I'm at I am at five six. I think I should be okay, but I can these things move quite quick. Do you have Active Sky next to FSX? No, I don't. I've got Rex. I think I'm running Rex Soft Clouds. That's what I'm running. Since since uh, we have Obex, the mountains are a lot higher than the default mountains. They are, uh, you're I right. Think, yeah. And I've got a texture mod running as well. Yeah. I've got another texture mod running. And so I'm coming up to six six. I'm coming up to sixty seven thousand. And you're not going to make them, or you are going to make them? Well, it's hard to tell from this distance. Yeah, I've got Orbex running as well. For FSX. Oh yeah, you get all back for FSX. Yeah, definitely. Oh yeah, you can get it for FSX and P3D and can you get yeah, get all get all backs for X Plane Eleven as well, can't you? You can now, yeah. You can now, but you don't need it though, do you? Because your uh, Suni looks a lot better than mine. Um that's Orbex though, isn't it? Yes, it's completely Obex. Yeah, that's o o Orbex. Obex or or a uh, it's O R Bex, yeah. Yeah, or stands all because I'm not going to explain. I've got explain, but to be honest and truthfully, I've probably only fired it up a few times. Likewise. Yeah, we. I think we've all got them because we all got into. You know what? I can. I can quite proudly say I've got a lot of people into the uh, flying thing. The thing is, explain's okay. Is getting into all setting the controls and all that and the 
trying to understand the menu options. And What's all that? In, in um, no, X Plane Eleven, you mean? In X Plane Eleven, yeah. yeah. Twenty-three minutes to go. What? Twenty-three minutes. Oh, twenty-eight. Yeah, twenty-two. Yeah! You see, when you start a conversation, how time flies. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I like to do that I mean I've been sat at work today honestly we've been sat at work and we've been clock watching and that's the worst thing you can do when you're watching it and I went oh my god it's 2 o'clock shall we get lunch and then I was walking around putting posters in the windows taking things out and I went back to the till looked at the monitors and it said 2.13 I went oh my god I thought that took me about an hour, but it took me literally just under 14 minutes to do what I had to do. I think I might make these um, mountains, to be honest. Yeah, I think I might just make those. Although it looks yeah, like I'm not moving. I think you will. I'm going to be more concerned about the landing, to be honest. Um, what do we have? No flaps, no air speed brakes. Uh, we've got nothing. <clears throat> do we even have brakes? <laughs> uh, we do. <laughs> Just. Let's pull back on this. Yeah, I'm just going to go a little bit higher just in case. I'm going to wait till I get close. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to you on top of the mountain. Yeah, I'm waiting till I get close. Gliders are faster than this. They are actually, aren't they? <laughs> I enjoyed that when we did the gliders because like what you said, I didn't know that you had to activate the thermal thing in the settings. Yeah. Brakes well, guys, and grapple hooks. <laughs> you say again. We're going to get to our destination for Christmas Day in looks 2021. Like yeah, it looks like it. People will have launched the new 2020 FSX, played it, and we're still on this trying to land. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Wow. Whoa, at least we'll keep FSX alive. I wonder what's going to happen. I wonder what will actually happen to this when the new one comes out. Don't know, to be honest. Because I'm not going to FS 2020. Why? Why are you not going to it? It might make this uh, Steam Edition a lot cheaper. It's cheap now, isn't it? No, it's £20 on still? Steam. Yeah, £20, which is still high for this old game. Yeah. I can see where you are at 6 8. It feels like I'm not even going the straight line, I'm going to the right. It's going slanted. No, I'm, I'm literally running. I'm flying right alongside the magenta line. Yeah, I've to come up to about 7,000 just to be on the safe side of these oh, mountains. You guys, you don't take risks, do you? <laughs> if you were smart, not at this you height, not this on height, the no. leather boots <laughs> and steel toes, and then again, who needs brakes? When you have an unscheduled emergency landing, <clears throat> you do a uh, Fred Flintstone, you mean? <laughs> I might just I'm, I'm just you know what I'm taking a risk hell yeah I'm taking a risk because it looks like I might just you know clip the top maybe he wants to go down low enough to pick a flower no because it's I'm actually well I am actually going down slightly so <clears throat> let me just nose up that up Just nose that up. Let's put that on. Really? Climbs quite quick actually to be honest. I think I would have made it to be honest. Well, I'm at 6630 and I'm clearing it. You would, I think I'd have cleared it at what I was on anyway. Yeah. It looks higher when you're further away than it does when you're up close. Now I'm diving. Uh oh. Don't No, crash. it's alright, I'm just looking at. No, he's speeding up now, so oh, he's he dives. In. 
There you go. Kind of like the way this thing moves, in fact. I've upset my balance now. Yeah, let's go up to six. Somebody's nearly at seven, Empire. Six two. I'm going to try six. I'm going to try and hold it at six two. See, as soon as I let go now, it dives. Let's take that speed off slightly. Or in fact, do that. That will hold it up. There we go. I've got to set this first. One second. There we go. That's better. Oh, I'm getting some serious turbulence on this. I'm losing it. I'm going to try and just... I'm going to let it try and level off. Right, here we go. It's just leveling off now. See what I'm doing lot. Trying to get the speed right there. There we go. <laughs> I am not going to crash. Maybe. Right, um, I'm 40 minutes out and I can actually see the runway from here. So. But the runway is like, not moving. The runways don't move, they stay, they stay static. So you can <laughs> land on them. <laughs> yeah, but when I'm not getting close to it, it feels like I'm not moving closer to it, so it moves closer faster. Oh. Whose idea to do these aircrafts? <coughs> yeah, whose idea was it? Um, must be Dev's because he's quiet. I don't know, because they were throw him overboard when we find out who it was. <laughs> I'm just working this out about levelling it off at the moment. That's what I'm doing. I think I've just... I've just kind of... I think I've got it just now, just there. Yeah, I think I'm okay now. Oh, hang on. I think you either have to put a bit less. Right, I've worked it. Less power. Then edge it. And it will stay level. Yeah, less power. There we go.
You need a V8. To, I need something. Need a V8. See, it looks like I'm. <clears throat> All right, I think I can see the uh, uh, pull. ETA dev. Uh, thirteen minutes, one three minutes. Yep, copy that. I'm about the same. Twenty-two for me. The one way is long, which doesn't make it, which helps. Or a shuttle. <laughs> So, try and think really, really hard down to our kneecaps to think of flights we or planes that we have never done before. Oh God! Um, it's literally a hard, hard, hard to think of. It is now. I'll have to be honest. Wow. It is now for us. Well, I need to start coming down anyway, and it, it is now for us. To be fair. I mean, we could try and fly birds. <laughs> I think we've done everything, haven't we? Yeah. Hot air balloons. <laughs> um, I don't know about that, you know. No, neither do I. No, no. Or download a pig mod. Point, <laughs> point. God, do you know what? Download a pig mod. Chronic. Just you to come out with something like that. Right, I've cleared the mountain, so I'm going to go down to about 4,000 feet Yeah, I was now. going to suggest anything between 4 and 3. I'm 20 minutes out and just coming over the mountains now. Right, prepare for a good landing. Ish. I'm looking where Dev is. Dev's right over to your right, quite a way out. So, could yeah, you see the runway where you are? Yeah, we both can see the runway. Once we pass the mountains, we literally can see it. Landing gears are down, lights are not on. Um, what else? Um, God, this checklist is very long, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'd go back for it. I lost myself halfway through. Alright, let's start again. Yeah, I'm alright now because I'm descending quite slow. That should be. I should just clear that mountain there. Oh, I can see the runway. Okay. Okay. Do I need to be that side of it? I think I want to come in on that angle. Oh, you're coming in over by the water, I take it, Empire. No, I'm trying to land from the... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just turning that yeah. way now. I can, yeah, I'm doing that as well. Heading well over, I'm heading over to the in. right to approach on the left, so I can yes. see I can it's see Dev brain. now as well. They descend quite quick, don't they? 
Mr. Great Pop. I hope it'll be a great one for us as well, to be honest. Did you have a good Christmas, sir? I'm going to do what Death out. did. I'm going to go this way. Six minutes out, and I can see the landing lights. I mean, the um, one way lights. Turn this thing off as well. I need a gas station. <laughs> I think you'll be fine, sir. I'm just descending slowly now. Yeah, I'm just coming down to 4,000. Uh, I did, but my wife wouldn't let me play Santa and deliver a package to other. You rude man. <laughs> you rude man. And I bet you were singing when Santa got stuck up the chimney. Achoo, achoo, achoo. <laughs> Right, if I start descending and go this way, I should be okay. Mountains look lower this side. And I've got a longer approach. I'm waving at you, Dev. From yeah, two I'm miles away. Waving back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can't see you, but who cares, I'm waving. <laughs> I see ya. <laughs> I can't hear you. What, 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 say that again. It's a long distance to hear from each other. <laughs> sign language. Yeah, excellent. I can't see 50 sign language <laughs> because it's too far away. I've got two fingers up all the way down, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wonder you can't see them. <laughs> I'm using those polystyrene hands just so you can see them. <laughs> <laughs> I am right in thinking it is Saturday tomorrow, isn't it? It is indeed. Totally lost track of the days, honestly. Well, it'll be 2020 very soon. Not very long, actually. Well, Wednesday. Yep. Less than five days. All day, that's it. I try to sing songs, but I never get to sing them, especially about going down the frigging chimney, Great Bull. Okay, boys, we are on the approach. Dev's at 3-4. It's like they say, I've been waiting all my life for 2020 vision. I'll get it next week. Yeah, that's true, yeah. <laughs> this is our landing baits we've got to beat. Oh, in this? Yep. Oh, <laughs> to land. So nearest airport. <clears throat> A request full stop. For cargo power, ultralight one one mile southeast to land. Ultralight for cargo power. Make straight in runway two six. Altimeter two nine or nine or two. <laughs> Woo! Oh my god, this thing's getting some serious. Pull back on the power, that's it. You really pick up speed when you're descending. I am losing this. This thing's going. Well, this thing's going for a burden. That might help.
Wow, this is really, really playing around at the moment. I've got a funny feeling FS Cloud's not going to give me results on this. Because it still shows me on the ground it has, been, it has done since the start. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Honestly, I did take off. I haven't driven all across the ground, ground all the way. <laughs> don't, for, don't forget to use the speed brakes. I want to see how mine is literally bouncing around all over the place. You're ready. Wilco 100. Thank you very, very much for that amazing follow. Right, I think I've got over the turbulence now. To be honest, I don't even know what speed we should be landing at, to be honest. You can land at 50 on these, come on. You can say land at full speed on these. <laughs> Wow, I'm coming in at 52. I'd just let it run for a bit before you put your brakes on, to be fair. Yeah, as well, I've got about 52 at the moment as well, so... Well, I'm doing 54 on the descent. Oh, 55, 57. 50. That's my speed, not calling you. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't answering anyway. <laughs> I was waiting for you to, though. No. <laughs> it's Sir 50 Plus Gamer to you guys. You probably didn't answer if I was going to put you off or something. I think Empire is down. Yes, I'm down, and you don't need much actually to stop. <laughs> Mr. Dev coming in as well. Oh, I need to go out a lot more than this. I'm still at three for me. I want to probably be on the approach looking at how far we are at about two, 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 five. I'm at three, one now. down was the landing okay yeah to be honest with you I mean, the sphere was coming about 50 it didn't even have to uh, touch the brake just let it uh, roll out itself yes indeed be interesting what our stats will say I don't know if it will give us anything you know
Come on, Dev. Park next to my good looking zebra skin. Is that default or tell me you didn't pay for that? No, yeah, it's default. default. I thought it was. It's uh, came with about. Well, this default comes with about uh, how many? How many uh, colors? Yes, three. three uh, no, four. Yeah, three colors. You've got the. Um, the yellow. The red, the yellow, red. and the safari, as they call yeah, it. The oh, is it? Oh, is it? Is it just a standard one? Yeah. I've never looked at the whole of the uh, packet, you know, the whole skins anyway. Oh, God, it takes ages. Devic, Dev, Dev just got 17 points. Oh, I've just seen it, yeah. I am at 2,000 feet at the moment. Oh, yeah, uh, it did give me results on FS Cloud. What did it give you? Come on, let's have them. Right, it gave on uh, average sync rate minus 582. Max sync rate minus Mr. Ketsui coming in with an outstanding 28 month subscriber ratio. You ready? <laughs> Max sync rate minus seven seven nine. Speed max speed diff three. Noon. <laughs> max sync rate diff one nine seven and touchdown sync rate minus six seven two. That's heavy, isn't it? Six seven two. <laughs> No, for the last one, that is really bad. When, if you look at, what, well, Empire got 112. <laughs> no comments. Yeah, but the difference is he's been practicing. Really? Oh, I'm come not. on! I've been practicing, really. What's happening? I'm at about th at 2,000 odd feet nearly. <laughs> no, I'm joking. And thank you for the follow, Laura. Yeah, thanks, Laura, for the follow. Well, that was good. Uh, uh, wow. Dev, you had a follow and I had to follow at the same time. What a coincidence. <laughs> oh, dear, this is boring me now, this is. <laughs> Come on, 50. You can do it. I know you can. Try I've got to be 112. Leave me alone. I know, the concentration phase is on. <laughs> trying to put me off. I'm trying to look away from the screen. <laughs> I'm at 14. When I looked at Dev, he was at 17 over here. So I'm trying to keep it nice and low so that I can get a good sync rate on this. I think what I need to do is get past them trees. That would help. Get past the dark forest. You see, the difference is, I don't know if this reading is going to be right because of the, um, it does have no altimeter. You know, to give you the height of the actual runway to sea level, if you get what I mean. Yeah. So when it's saying 1,290 odd, am I actually at that? Or am I actually lower? Or is 50 round? Or is he square? <laughs> 
Yeah, no problem, Kets, mate. Thank you for that uh, resub, mate. I really do appreciate that. To be I know honest, you, you're you, quite low. Eh? To be honest, you are quite low. I'm at uh, 12. In a micro light, that would be okay, to be honest, I would think. If you think about a micro light, I can't see that being quite low, to be fair. Keep in mind that the... Um the airport is like 700 and something yeah but I've got I've level. got one red dot you see yeah it's winking yeah but theoretically FS cloud should give me a perfect one because according to FS cloud I never took off <laughs> ah that's true oh it's gone white now oh is it and I'm at 1240 so I'm just gonna go down now just getting past the trees yeah, see, FS Cloud is showing you as um, has landed already. Well, I haven't. No, no, I know you haven't, but I'm only joking. I know that. Oh, fifty. Not, you know, it's though. We probably as soon as we start up FS Cloud every week, it probably looks like oh god, not you lot again, please. And then refuses to work. Yeah. Well, it's been fine tonight, I've got to admit that. Yeah, it's probably nice to you, Empire, because you're probably the only one that uh, spent time with it on Christmas Day. There it is. <laughs> Did you do it on FS Cloud on Christmas Day, or...? FS Cloud, no. Yeah, no. You mean FS X, yes. He's trying to come in! Yeah, no, I won't be you flying over on it with FS Cloud open as well, but... Yeah, well, I, I didn't... I only open it once a week now. What's that? Uh, FS Cloud. Do you think that's going to be the problem with it? I feel like I'm a lot lower than it's telling me, you know. Really do. I am low, it's telling me. I feel I'm a lot lower than this is saying. A lot lower. What's it telling you you're at at the moment? I'm at 8.2 and I feel a lot lower than that. I like to bounce in these things. was absolutely perfect if I don't beat him on that one I'm telling you now if I do not beat him on that I am not doing another flight and I will never fly again till next week <laughs> but that was perfect well honestly we it came result. down that came down really really well off center great pup get out <laughs> So you didn't even have to touch your brakes on land, did you? I never you? touched him, never touched him. In fact, I didn't think I touched him when I was in the air either. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Honestly. What's this? Where's the taxiway on here? There is no taxiway. Well, it says turn off at the next taxiway. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a good bus. <laughs> Don't it's there. Oh, I can grass. see where you two are. Turn next taxiway. Uh, there is no taxiway.
as soon as I hit that grass it's going to slow down into it bit more power bit more power Are we are boys. You made it, boys. I'm trying to work out if it's actually going to give me a uh, score. That's a waiting game for FS Cloud to reload. I think it's normally 30 seconds into it, updates every 30 seconds or something. That took us about an hour and 30, about an hour and 40 minutes. Oh, hang on, it's coming through, something's happening. Hell yeah. I got 17 points, by the way. I can't calculate such a smooth landing. It was a good landing, I think. Come on, I'm not going to look. Sniff. He's not looking, really. I can look for you and do the evil laugh bar. You still just give me a white screen. Oh, no. Oh, God damn! Uh-oh. I got a 154. <laughs> Hang on, I need to make my mic up. <laughs> I got a 154. <laughs> but that was a good landing though. For me to get a 154, come on. So, okay, alright, so we're looking at... Average sync rate was 232. Um, let me move it over here. Wow. Average sync rate 232. Max sync rate. Oh, I beat you on that one. Yeah. And I beat you on the other one, 328. Oh, I can't believe that. Hold on a minute. Yeah, Dev got 779. Okay. I got. I beat you on that one. I got two. And I beat Dev. I you got two. GG. Mr. is ready for stream. Jordi Biden. Thank you very, very, very much for that toast, sir. And how are you? Merry Christmas to you as well. A just popped in to wish you a happy Christmas and all the best for 2020. Thank you very much for that, mate. I know you like this tune, so I'll give you one of those as well while you're there. You ready? <laughs> Okay, Koki, and I got, I got both, and the max, oh, I didn't beat him on that one either, <laughs> my max sync diff was 145, and then you understand my touchdown sync was 154, okay, um, <laughs> right, okay, so, okay, right, so what we do now is, we'll get another one in, won't we, just, are we up for it, boys? Yeah. Yes. I'm doing fine. Need to get back into Twitch and gaming. Has been busy, man, for last two months. Um, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Jordy, uh, give the good lady a merry Christmas from me and 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 the kids. I know they they would have had a great time. Yeah, I'm fine, mate. I know they would have had a time. Right. Okay. So let's get the next one loaded up. Flight Pleno, and we are at. NZMO uh, let's put. and we are going to NZMO we're going to go straight from the runway there's no point taxiing no, there's no <laughs> yeah, point taxiing I'm telling you now. there is no point at all and we are going to NZMF F. Oh, 
Okay, visual again, find the route. Oh my God, this is even longer. Um, now it's telling me to go to 10,000. Yeah, I'll put mine back down to seven. Now I'm going to go for, well. Because we've got the mountains in front of us. Okay, I'm going to go eight then. <laughs> <laughs> so, that, so that I know I can clear them. The descent on that was quite good, although I think for me, what did me was the plate, the, because it's a micro light, it looks like it's a lot closer to the ground than it is. I think that was the issue. Right, the good lady is here. On. Right, okay. I am on the runway. Somebody has spawned right over me. It's, oh, we all have. Okay, so I'll tell you what then, guys. Yeah, I've just moved forward a bit, so there's plenty of room. I'll go yeah. back. I'll go back. We don't need the full runway anyway, do we? So I'll go back. Right, okay, so we're all lined up. Right, so Dev's in front. Yep. Alright. Go on, Dev, good luck, don't crash. Yeah, I'm just doing requests and all that. Okay, okay, just saying hello to the good lady, guys. Right, okay. Right, let's get requests. We're going straight out on this one, aren't we? Yeah. You're off now, aren't you? Yeah, I've been drinking this. Right, straight out departure has been given. Okay, boys, let's go. Right, you're ready. Oh, I'm going. So guys, if you've got anything planned, please stay tuned for the next five days, because 50 will be streaming <laughs> micro lights around the world. You mean five years? Oh god, it's going to take a while. <laughs> That's right. It's going to take a while, this is, I can tell you that now. Normal flight will resume in 20 years to <laughs> Yeah, do you know what I mean? The 50 plus gamer might not be around, but if you <laughs> dig his body battle, I'm sure he can tell you what you can do. God damn, although that's a nice takeoff though. I have to say. Right then. Mr. Empire. I am moving. I am moving. These dotted lines will look big. It just shows the delay between FS Cloud and the actual game. And also when take off we need to turn around. Oh off where we should have gone. <laughs> yeah. I just take off now and turn around because they'll go quite quick, don't they? Yeah. He ain't gonna take off, I ain't gonna watch him. You could have I'm took up, off yeah, ages ago. Now. Oh, what? I used the whole one. ATC, there's people inside. Hello. I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry, guys. <laughs> Honestly, I'm really, really sorry. 
just how he is, just every now and then. Let him he out his cage. Damn straight. <laughs> let him out his cage, and things just happen. I don't know what it is. We fed him before we let him out as well. <laughs> Honestly. It's the ocean, it's, it's the ocean, and it I, I, can't help sickness. I, 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 re I really don't know what to do. Don't get, don't start feeling yeah. sorry for him. Yeah, please, I feel. Don't cry, meow. <laughs> what do do? It's the worst thing you can do. Feel sorry for him. Laura, appreciated. <laughs> Time to speed up then. Mr. Adam Apple Tech Support, sir. Thank you very, very much for that house. Turn that off. Adam, uh, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year to you, sir, as well. Ultralights, I see. Oh, these are fun. I'll give they are fun. <laughs> they are a lot of fun. And slow. Slow. They are very slow. They are great. They're good looking, not really. Yeah, New Year's Day, we're going to do a round the world right, marathon oh, oh, and oh, in an ultralight. Yeah, we've done the gliders. We did the gliders, what, about a year ago, would you say? Months yeah. ago? Months, yeah. months? About a year ago. Yeah, about a year ago. It's uh, ten minutes shorter. That's that's the good news. Oh, brilliant! I'm so happy. So ten minutes. It, so that makes it fifty minutes. <laughs> Luciano. But when I did the flight plan, how do you said thirty-seven minutes? Yeah, I know. That's because it thinks we're doing hundred and ten. I don't know why. Fifty-five minutes. Old memories. <laughs> we like to reminisce. We do this. Um, it's telling me that I haven't taken off, and it's saying Dev hasn't taken off, but Empire has. He likes me tonight, then. Give it time. Give it time. It might adjust. There's only a thirty-second delay on it. No, so I'm just going to drive across the land. <laughs> uh, this is how yeah. old FSX is. People now hear old memories of this. Sim. Honestly, we don't need advertisements. You're not allowed to advertise in my uh, stream. <laughs> oh, now it's saying that Dev's taken off and I haven't. I'm coming for you, Adam. Do you have a good Christmas, Adam? Now it says I've taken off. That's good. Just, just give it time. Put him up. Put him up. Really, Dev? Really? We're well, doing it again. You and I are on um, each side of each other. Oh, you've landed don't have again, though. No. Drank, silly. Quote yeah, for Ever's Cloud, you've now landed, Empire. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> 
What is FS Cloud doing? Probably because of the mountains. Lucci, thank you very much for coming into the room, mate. Eh? Right, what are we at at the moment? I'm right, at 4,000. Just going yeah, to 5,000. I'm currently holding at 4,300. Well, looking at the mountains that are in front of us, I would uh, reconsider that one. No, I'm going to take a risk like you said last time. Yeah, but 4,000? <laughs> yeah, why not? That's not a risk, that's a death wish. <laughs> well, just call I'll me Charles Manson death, then. I bet on death, uh, <laughs> death wish. He'll what you call it. He'll go higher. He'll go higher. No, I'm saying where I am. Okay. Really? Okay. If you see an explosion in the distance... Oh, no, he's all right. I can see where he is. I can see where he is, that's why. Yeah, he's, but he's, the mountains. Yeah, but it's not as high as where I am at the moment. I can see where he is. I'm going to probably take that line myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually the mountains at the end of the uh, yeah. Lake. He's gonna ha he's gonna have to climb anyway. Then these mountains are look flatter, to be honest. True. Yeah. Anyway, guys, topic of conversation. I started the last one. You guys can go for it, and it's gonna have to be a long conversation. <laughs> Well, I was thinking between now and land, I was going to read War and Peace. Yeah. I might what, be able to complete the book. Yeah. I'm going to listen to War of the Worlds on vinyl. <laughs> I'm going to watch a movie. <laughs> oh, dear. So it's been three days already, and we still haven't got to this mountain. I'm climbing out, Cal. Back in a minute, guys. Yeah, I was thinking I might as well go make a coffee while I'm waiting. Eggy wiggy. <laughs> really? Really? They left me. Oh my god, they, li they left me. Help! You know what, I'm gonna get some something, something as well. Yeah, why who's, not? Who's left you? Who's left you? Oh, I thought you left. <laughs> no. <laughs> wow. Yes, Adam Textable, I'm reading your chat. <laughs> 47 minutes. Oh look, 49 minutes to go. 46 minutes. I'm doing, I'm coming up to 48,000. I'm doing 67. 48,000? 4,800. <laughs> 4,800. 4, I wish I was at 40, 48,000. I'd be there in no time. Yeah. Take me a year to get up to 48,000. I would say 48,000, you put a bow into shame. It's in Discord, uh, Adam Tech Support. Uh, send you an image. Okay, 50's back. I am back. From outer space. He's back. I am back. God, I haven't even hit the mountains yet. Jeez. I know, right? That's all we should have done. We should have done a nighttime flight on this and looked out for UFOs. Oh my god. I've only just come to 6,000 feet, guys. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh god. God, you don't get no meals on these. You can't even carry passengers on these things. You might. <laughs> he holds two passengers. <laughs> right, Diablo says, just open your visor, you'll catch your meal. Uh, oh, this is 
New Zealand if it's sent by screenshots you will be amazed. It, it is New Zealand. We don't do, you know the thing, we don't do any author because when authors do things like this, um, the scenery looks amazing, don't it? Mm. Like, even the boat on the water below is going faster than we are. I ain't got what no boat, boat. I've got to turn them off. What boat? boat. Yeah, the boat on the water. Oh, you've probably got your uh, thingies turned up. You know, I've got mine turned down. Yeah, just going over it now. I see fishermen fishing. I see some New Zealand dancers down there. Oh, where you are, we might see something, because you're further... Yeah, you're a lot further ahead than I am. Oh, my God, I think I'm falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's have a look. We need a baby nap. Whoa. So, how was your Christmas, Adam? Did you have a good day? Did you get anything extraordinary, or did you get what you asked for as well? Matthew, memories when I used to fly this plane on FSX a few years ago. Ha ha ha. Yeah, we all did it. We've all done it. You ready? Matthew, thank you very, very much for that follow. I tell you what guys, I treated myself to some new headphones and they sound absolutely amazing. Honestly, I am so impressed with these headphones. The sound quality is unbelievable. I have bass, I have treble, it sounds really good. Really does sound good. And I'm going to brag. So you like me now with your with their headphones? HyperX thing in it. Yeah, the HyperX, quite good. Yeah, these things look really are nice. Sound quality on these are absolutely amazing. I have to say, I've still got to work out. I've got to set another channel so that I can. Um, separate discord into these i can hear you guys anyway which everyone else can hear but i want to set into the channel will not be quiet yet as being in indonesia it's a bit annoying for wait, 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 so cool. but. oh i got my son a pair of airpods Yeah, I got my son a pair of earpods. They're expensive for what they are, for crying out loud. And the problem being is, I've said that. The, <laughs> the, have you ever seen them, Empire? Yeah, they look, they look stupid, to be honest. Well, I don't know. I wouldn't say they look stupid, but I, I like the way that they work. They're just little um, things, just literally hooking your ear. Yeah, I don't Honestly. even know. I don't even know how much they weigh, to be honest, compared to the wired corded ones. They don't weigh anything, honestly. They weigh nothing. Because they, they have to have a, you know, a small battery inside. Yeah, but they've got the... Um, you can get them with the actual charging pack, so that when you put them in, they get charged via wireless through the... Yeah. Well, they ch the, the, the pack ch is, a, is a charger, and as you slot them in, they just charge automatic. Never, I'm never a big fan of those anyway, to be honest, I'd rather have headphones that covers what, your honestly, old ear. For what they are, they are very expensive, and, uh, and you know something? Very, especially Apple. Well, that's what it is, isn't it? Yeah. I've, got some, I've got something similar, but they're not called AirPods. They're, Come on they're called hearing aids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good oh, one. <laughs> honestly, I like that. I do like that. And that's I probably like cheaper that. too. <laughs> QE, they go. It's going good. It's just the only problem is at the moment. Josh, how are you, sir? It takes forever. Although it only wow, that's what it says. Thirty-six minutes. Thirty-six minutes. Josh, how are you anyway? Guys that have just come in, have you had a good Christmas, or should I say, did you have a good Christmas more than have you had? Those tents. 
Any plans for the new year, guys? Yeah, work. Seriously? Seriously. Oh, dear. Janet's working New Year's as well. Um, I'm working New Year's Eve. So that's not too bad, though, to be honest, because then at least... You know, if I want to, if I do want to go out, I can go out after work, can't I? You get what I mean? Well, to be honest with you, I mean, I've got annual leave days I've applied for. I'm just waiting for them to confirm or de uh, deny them. Is it done through email? Uh, no, we have a, an app that we can use on our phone sort of thing. So we just log into the roster app and then it tell us there. But some, with this bit, they're not going to start doing it until about tomorrow or something. So at the moment I'm off till Sunday. It should be back Monday, but I'm hoping I've still got another four days from annual leave they're going to grant me. I'm starting yeah. to climb the only, a bit the only difference is, Adam, I would suggest, right, I when I purchased my sons, I took, I think it was nine ninety nine for a insurance on them. I had to. Um, when I purchased them, I got mine from Curry's and they, he, he sent me the link and they were doing a, a discount on them. But even with the discount, they are still expensive. Um, the difference is, yeah, that's it. That Apple Care, you got it. I got that on them. So if anything happens to them, well, I don't think it was because what, what, um, what Curry's were doing were if you paid the 9.99 you got, I think it was a 20% off the uh, initial retail price. So theoretically, that probably for the price of them would have covered, you know, the price of the um, Apple Care that you get. Because my argument about them was, when I looked at them, I thought, that it, literally, the box is about, it's about the size of a box of bleeding household matches. And when I looked at it, I thought, wow. But then again, Apple... You're paying for a name more than anything else. And it's what the kids want, isn't it, to be honest. And to be fair, my son don't ask for anything, really. I did say to him, what do you want? And when he said these, I thought, never heard of them. Never heard of them. So he sent me the link. And when I looked at him, I thought, oh, my God. And the problem is, is there's so many people after those things. I'm a what? A sh a, a shin a shinister loyalist. You lost me. You've lost me. I know Shinder's list, that's all I do know, but you've lost me, mate. You have to explain things like that to me, QE. A 50 doesn't understand. I'm old, remember? Oh, okay. A top quality audio brand. Um, I think I know what you mean. Is it like, uh, not Wharfdale? Was it not Wharfdale? What's the other one? Yeah. What's the other one? There's an audio system that they do that's so expensive. I think that might be what he was referring to. What is the name of it? Not Wharfdale, what were they called? It might be that one that you're on about, because I'm out of that stuff now. I know they're very, very expensive. Mono, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the hell are you on about, Grey Pop? Mono. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> no, there's another one. There's, uh, I forget the name. It's a, uh, I don't know if it's German or whatever it is. It might be that one, you know, that you're on about, um, QE. I have heard of Mono before, to be honest. German. Schenheiser. Eggy Weggies. ETA. Uh, 33. 34. Currently I do have a Sony headphones that I've 
These cost a four hundred pounds. Thirty five for me. They are starting to crackle. And you might want to climb down. No, I'm sticking at four thousand three hundred at the moment, see how it goes. Yeah, we all we, sure? we all we all yeah. have a brand that we, we kind of stick to because I used to love um I used to always swear by Turtle Beach when I used to do a lot of my things. I was always going for Turtle Beach, uh, things like that. Let me just have a look at my Cambridge Cambridge Works as well. It is another one that is a um, a good sound system as well. I have a Tesco value headphones. <laughs> Do you know what? Do you know what, Kes? And you're probably right. But the difference is, I mean, I've just purchased these, and to be fair, I have to be honest. The sound quality is absolutely brilliant. Really, really. The other ones that I had, it was very tinny, and I just wasn't getting on with them. I did give them to my son, but he said he couldn't use them, so he gave them back. I've got, yeah, these are very good, to be honest. They are very good. I have to say. I normally don't brag about things like that because I'm not necessarily into them. But again, I had the money. I saw them and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go for it. I used to work in the music industry, so I have quite a bit of experience with so many brands. Well, you, and that's where that probably comes from. So the idea is you know where to get the best quality from and things like that, which is good. And these headphones for me don't look as bulky on my head as the other ones did. And they are very comfortable. I have had most headphones out of these best I own fifteen pound here. Yeah, I mean it, to be honest and truthfully, sometimes it doesn't matter about the, the cost of them, it's the sound quality that you're after more than anything well with any headphones it's all about the sound quality isn't it to be fair i know you can go out there and spend four or five hundred pounds on headphones and the quality is the one thing that's going to keep you with them which shows price means nothing which is what i'm trying to get at sir yeah i get what you mean two cups and a string you not get better sound quality than that remember that back in the day when you used to go around corners hello can you hear me can you hear me? I can hear you without them. No, can you hear me? I can hear you easily. It's all Dad's personal preference on anything that you purchase. Because mm -hmm. there were a lot of people. There's a, there is a lot of people that would turn around and say, "Why spend that much money on something? You can get this there." But until you've experienced them, until you've experienced it, that's when you realise, you know, sound quality. You know, all the different things that you can get, and a lot of people. What you tend to find is they'll watch a streamer and they'll go, well, he's got those headsets, so I'll buy them. And when they buy them, they've spent all that money and they think, oh, they're not that good, are they? But, but, when it comes down to your own personal preference, I've been through three headphones since I've been streaming. I went through the Turtle Beach. I went through those, what are they called? I went through these ones that are called I Ixa. Yeah, Ixa E800s, which... They look nice because they've got lights on and everything, but guess what? No, no, no. The sound quality is absolutely pants compared to these. A50, I waited for you to send me an Xmas. <laughs> but should I still wait outside to let her out? It's on its way. It's been delivered by Hem uh, Hermes. Now, the difference with Hermes is nine times out of ten, you never ever get what is supposed to be delivered as my good lady found out it's always personal preference i mean i'm sat here watching 50 when i could be watching you you out of order getting, <laughs> getting scared off by cucumbers you sod <laughs> honest and truthfully i'd watch the kittens at the moment by looking at this really i watch paint dry the whole lot, Adam, that's a good statement to be honest, Adam, because it is. It is. I, as I was saying last night, guys, I'm quite fortunate that I've been streaming for as long as I've been streaming. And a lot of people realise that I play multiple games. I don't just stick to one game. Um, when I'm playing a game, even if I start my stream and there's only one person in it, I still carry on as if I've got <clears throat> 2,000. And um, I just stream the same and, and, I, and I kind of think I get a reasonable audience. I never look and go, oh, I've got one person in. Do I have to, do I stop the streams? I've seen people, I have seen streamers 
that have gone live they've got two or three people in the room and they've gone off they've literally just switched off honestly and and i was kind of shocked because i've enjoyed the games that they've been watching because of the son i can't seem to play anything other than fortnite because he hits me yeah but you the the what i do you know something yeah it's right a feather in your cap i kind of liked watching you on that and it's you, there's certain things you don't see on twitch right and twitch is one of these platforms where a lot of people try to please the followers and i liked what i was seeing i i kind of think it's nice when you know you can get the young kids on and you know do what you do so i've got a lot of respect for you because of, on that because i've only ever done one stream once where i had hector sat at side of me while we were doing a planet coaster he carries me along he's got he's all right though to be honest no you're not too bad anyway i still think you've gone over to the dark side but you know we'll, we'll talk about that later <laughs> We'll talk about you going over to the dark side. Next, you'll be turning around and saying that you're going to meet Ninja. <laughs> he is. He's going to. He's going to. He's going to put his T-shirt on. Lol. I love Ninja. I love Shroud. Or oh, Shroud don't play it so much now. I love. I love Tufu. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I want to know a secret. I am. Oh, here we go. Look, I hate when he does this, and he knows that. I am ninja. Whoa! Can I have some of your money, please? <laughs> I was just saying as well, guys, that um, I was thinking of going over to uh, Mixer. They've uh, put a package together for me. I was gonna, re I was gonna reveal it. They actually sent me an email saying that we've heard that you are a top survival streamer. We want you over at Mixer. Do it. Oh, Kiwi, God's sake! Really? But, uh, yeah, yeah. They sent me a package, and. Um, <laughs> I haven't opened the letter at the moment. <laughs> Mixer. <laughs> I haven't opened the letter at the moment. I don't know if it's a letter of decline or exception. I'm not quite sure. And um, I was just thinking what you guys thought of that. If I was to go over Mixer, would you follow me? <laughs> I'm already following you, so it's really hard to follow you. <laughs> wow. I, ge I genuinely prefer... Hold on a minute. Can somebody ban that man? He actually said he prefers Mixer. And what's he doing on Twitch then? Really? <laughs> he's watching me. That's what he's doing. He, leave him alone. He's watching me. Don't want to lose any more followers. I think I would be a good idea. Mixer seems to be overtaking Twitch. To be honest, right? A lot of people have said that because what Twitch are doing wrong is they are not supporting their streamers. That's what Twitch are doing that's wrong. Twitch are in it only for the money. I understand that Mixer is owned by Xbox, Microsoft, sorry, and whatever happens, they are supporting their streamers. Can you remember the other night, I had a guy come into the stream called Nozzabox, oh, yeah. and he was streaming on Twitch for over three years, never got partnered, yeah? He goes over to Mixer, and within six months, he was partnered. He's now got something in the region of 30,000 followers, and I won't go into his subs, but he's told me already. And he's doing reasonable, if you get what I mean. And that's Is that why in... you stop following him? Well, yeah, that as well. And that's <laughs> in the space of... How long have I been streaming? I'd say about two and a half years. And he's loving it. Twitch has just been hit with a massive lawsuit. Oh, has it? I'm watching Mixer now, Joy. I watch Mixer a lot as well, to be honest, because I watch Ninja. I watch Shroud. I like when I like I don't mind advertising about these guys because whatever happens it's never going to affect what I'm doing I like when Shroud does escape from Tarkov because he is incredibly good at that game and I like to watch him do that I watch I tell you who else I watch a lot of as well Dr. Disrespect I'm not going to jump ship I never jump ship I like this because for me I kind of like the, the, the idea of, of streaming a game and you guys watching it and me having the interaction with you. I think that's what I like more than anything. By a German company because people were streaming a football match. Oh, okay. Well, that's their fault though, isn't it? Because they know they can put a block on that stream if they want to. 
Twitch are very, very funny at times because you can get your VOD muted through playing music, which they catch. Um, they turn around and say that if somebody live streams something, they can't interact. Yes, they can. Mixer does have more interaction with viewers. It does. I love, I love the way that Mixer's chat works. I think that is absolutely brilliant. Really is good how they can put things in the chat so chat see it and things happen in chat and you you earn because don't forget now that um twitch have only just started with this earning loot in chat so that you can customize and do things now twitch are way behind on that way way behind because mixer you can actually put emotes in the chat that go all around the chat and everything and things like that it really does look nice we are all side by side guys dev you're slowing yep. down. You're slowing down. No, it shouldn't be. Yes, you are. I've overtaken you. I'm, I'm on full power. What am I at now? I'm at 6,000 feet. Six. I'm at 6, 8 and holding. And I'm trying to climb. You were way in front of me. No, I'm doing 65 miles an hour for 92% uh, as far as I can go with a throttle. Here's a bribe to jump ship. Come on then. Show me the money. Come on. I might be going over to Mixer now. Kiwi's trying to he's trying to he's trying to poach me. Come on. Let's have it. What are you gonna offer me? What are you gonna offer me? Come on. Let's have it. I'm waiting. The payday's coming guys. I won't go for less than a million, do you reckon, guys? <laughs> oh, no! I can't go now, can I? Oh, my God. QE is coming in with a three-month subscription. Listen, I'm staying now. Thank you very, very much for that, sir. That was well-deserved. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> That's done it. Okay. That's it. I'm not going to mix it now. I'm not. The problem is now I'm going to have to phone Bill Gates and tell him what's going off because the letter said it was addressed from Bill Gates personally. So I'm going to have to let him know what's going off now. As much as he wanted me to go over, I'm not going now. Customer Rights Act 2015, I demand a refund. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, he wants a refund. How dare he? How dare he? Um, do you know what? I'm kind of I'm kind of taken aback now. What can I do to make him keep his, uh, his what you call it, his money? I'll tell you what I'll do. Well, no, no, you give him a refund, but then you charge him a 100% admin fee. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to invite him into my Discord. That should make him want to stay. <laughs> wow. There you go. That's part of your refund. Do a sexy dance. <laughs> Hang on. What? What? Wow, wow. Well. Oh, hang on. Let me put the big camera on. Ready? What? What? Wow, wow. That's all you're getting. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you oh, know you've oh. gone, can you know, somebody you've gone from thirty viewers to five? Yeah, I've I, I seen it drop. Can somebody tell me what <laughs> film? I've got to remember the film first. Uh... Oh God! Do you know I hate my brain? I'll explain it anyway. Can somebody tell where this is from? This is rude. This is rude. That's rude. Can somebody tell me what film that's from? And it's an old film. Uh, What's the guy's name that used to come in Cheers? Ted Danson? No, no, no. The other one. The idiot barman. Oh, um... Woody Harrelson. That's it. Woody Harrelson. That's him. Scary movie? No. I don't know what the film's called, but I'll try and explain it to you. It's a film where the guy is a bowler. 
It's got Woody Harrelson in it, and he's a bowler, and it's got... Um, not Kingpin, is it? Yeah, that's the film. Kingpin. Oh, that, the, the landlady. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> that's where it's from. The landlady does it to him because <laughs> he couldn't pay his rent. <laughs> and he was he was going, what can I do, right, uh, because I can't pay the rent. And, oh, my God. God, he was spewing up afterwards. Oh, it's a classic film. <laughs> oh my God, I've watched some films. Because <laughs> they reckon Cool Running was on on Boxing Day, wasn't it? Don't know. Didn't oh, see no TV. Didn't yesterday. See it. I didn't watch it. I got a phone call from my mum saying that uh, Cool Runnings was on. No, yeah, it was brilliant. Boxing Day. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant film. film. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah that really one, good yeah. film that is really really was good but i didn't get to watch it i just blasted with two ads i didn't hear anything after i posted my last comment ha -ha. you won't get the ads anymore because um i'll tell you what i'm going to blast him with another one did you get hit did you get hit by one of these you shouldn't get ah he won't get hit by it now that's why it tells me who will get hit by it when i press it You should be okay now that you've got your... You shouldn't get hit with ads and subs anyway. Sixteen minutes, boys! Sixteen minutes! Seventeen minutes. Hold on a second. Twenty-three minutes. I've overtaken you guys. What? what? I'm shocked. So are we. And who's AATS? I've got Adam Appletech. Appletech. And what aircraft Ad is he in? Adam Appletech. Um, yeah. What's he in? DC3. Really? Adam Appletech. I'm sure it is. It is. Yep. It is. <laughs> you sneaky bogger. He's going... If it's a uh, jet aircraft, it's going to make it as very awkward in flying with the turbulence now from his jet yes, engines. Sir. You know, if I crash because of you. Wow. Um, Adam Tech Support, can you give me a favour and come along and tie my, <laughs> tie my aircraft to the back of your aircraft and give me a lift? Uh... I need a lift. <laughs> I need a lift. Taxi. Lenzar! Yes, hell, it's a micro light. It is, sir. How are you? Oh, God, Auntie. Oh, yeah, I thought I did log in. Let's have a look. What's that saying? No respect your. I'm just reading something. Someone sent me a message. Not seen one of those for years. Well, we, we, what I think what's brought this out is. Uh, why is it held that message? That's weird, isn't it? When it does that. Yeah, I just say it's weird. Uh, also, it's not a DC three. It's a C eleven. It's the C-117D Skytrain. Yeah, that was just game what uh, FS Cloud picking up up as. Yeah, it's what, yeah that's all it is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. I Hang on a minute. Old... 300, just weave through the mountains. Empire's got a problem. The mountains oh. are higher. I need to climb. What, what height are you at? 63. Well, I am at... Let's have a look at I'm at 67. Right, I could actually step my 4,500, 5,000 way through the mountains. Yeah. But I think it might take a little bit longer to get that way there. There, so. I think I'll be okay. Actually, there's a valley. Yeah, to I'll the be left okay. Of me. 
That should be okay. Yeah, so he's looking at the uh, GPS, there's uh, so many valleys anyway. Yeah. Probably... Yeah, yeah, you can actually go through a valley to the left of me. I'm down, uh, or more or less flying. I'm flying down the valleys. In fact... I should be going down there anyway. Um, just heads up Ooh. the um, just heads up that the airfield yeah. is um, not tarmac, it's grass. Oh, so Adam doing? Tech Support's gonna have a he's gonna have a hard time landing there nice, in though. his jet aircraft. The scenery looks nice. Looks yeah. nice, Adam. One. Well, I think it is what's well, the next one, I'm not sure. Oh, right, yeah. You can tell it is. What speed? There, look. That's all these things do. That's it. That's why it's taken us. This has not been too bad, this one, to be honest. But um, that's what that's all about. And I need to be careful I don't hit these mountains. I think I should be um, not okay. Not okay. Oh, I'm going to try and go. I'm going to go off route. And go down the valley here. Yeah, I'm just getting to the valleys myself. Yeah, I'm going down this valley. It's quite interesting. Lake Quill. At that speed, you'll hit them slow-mo. <laughs> I mean, it meant slower. We'll be fine. I think I should be okay anyway, to be honest. Yeah, I think I'll be all right. I'm gonna go over the tops. I'm gonna try and fly through the tops of the mountains, yeah. Through the tops? Uh, the gaps, should I say. If I do it like that, you can judge the distance better. Look out for the birds rabbit. <laughs> oh gosh. Have a look at this if I don't lose. Oh, that's all right. I think we should be okay. Yeah. Lenzo, you're right. Oh, that's now you've gone and spoiled it, haven't you? Oh, I'm high enough. We should have, do you know what we should have done? We should have done Innsbruck. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. At least you know, if we did if we did in in we would have thrown around ten times till we get it right. Wow. Oh guys, why would you do this to me when we're in the right plane for Innsbruck? <laughs> Jeez. But you know how long it would take to go to London to Innsbruck. Yeah, but we could have things. flown around the area and landed at Innsbruck. There it is, with all nice the mountains in the way. <laughs> They only last for so long when you customise the emotes, don't they? Yeah. No one else can't use them. No. I think it's what you guys unlock in points. Yeah. I was just I was saying, imagine how, how weird your emotes could look if uh, if you could just keep customising them and every everybody could customise the same one. Yeah. You'd have some really weird looking ones, wouldn't you? Got 50 space on the 50 logo. Hey, careful. <laughs> It will probably do that now. Tax, how are you, sir? I haven't missed you.
Ten minutes, it says for me. Yeah, twelve for me. Nine minutes. And these things can go to sixteen thousand. You said, Dev. Yep, sixteen thousand air service ceiling. Hold on. Too... You'd think you think it's? You think it's too high for these things? To be honest, looking at them. Well. I'd think perhaps it'd be too high to go out there without an oxygen mask. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you. What's him run out of fuel, though? No, I ain't going to run out of fuel. 16,000 right, feet is a long fuel, way though, to fall if you can't get out. You just glide down. To be honest, I don't think that's actually what two hours on. Who's at six oh, eight then? Oh, Empire, six, you're at six yeah, eight. I'm at six. Yeah. Well, I'm at six six. I'm at five 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 you, six. You ain't getting anywhere. You're not. And Alan Tech Support is about to land. Yeah, he's. Oh, so that's where the airport is then. Thank he's, you. Yeah, he's he's way in front. Should think so in the deep. Well, what is, is it? In. A DC one one. What was it? DC one one seven D. It's a C one one seven D. Yeah. Come on then, you want to say something? I thought you'd fly the German plane that reminds me of you. Come on. The Luger. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> oh, I don't know whether to say that as an insult or what. I don't know, honestly. I'm saying nothing. Apart from chat, 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 chat. Do you know what I mean? So, we were thinking about planes, weren't we guys, for next Friday? Yes. And what have we come up with? Nothing. Nothing, because we can't think of one, that's why. Can you fly Slanter's sleigh? No, we should have done that on Christmas Day, to be honest. I may have to go round at this one. I might be able to get just... Is that, what's that like? What's that there? Should be okay. Should be just okay if I head this way. Six minutes. Uh, destination is NZMF, which is called what? Let's have a look. Keep putting. You know when we have this. Uh, Milford Sound. Milford. Milford Sound. Oh, thank you. It's, um, so I've been told it's Australia, isn't it? No, New, New Zealand. Zealand. No, sorry, New Zealand. New Zealand. We are oh, flying okay. around yeah. New Zealand. We should have gone to Australia and helped them put the bush, put some of the bush fires out, to be honest. In these kind of aircrafts, with one bucket of water. <laughs> I think we'd have to spit on it from a great height. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I don't know where this airport is. Uh, airfield. It's, it's the where it's I am office. heading. It's over to my right. And you are over to my right. So you should be right over the airport, according to this. Oh, it's because it's mm -hmm. grass, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that'll be a good idea, Led. It's uh, I can see it's on the corner of a mountain and a cliff. Really? I think we may need to start descending anyway, to be honest. 
you pretty much. Uh, I am probably still at six. Yeah, six six. Let's have a look if I can see really? it. Uh, <laughs> really? What happened? Yep, that's, yep, yep, it's, yep. Adam Texfall is not going to land on that uh, airstrip. It's too small. No, it's not too small. It's just that, um, well, we won't have a problem, but in bigger aircrafts, you land and then smash into the mountain at the other end. Oh, is it that bad? Okay, but let's start looking at descending then. Come on, Adam Tech Support, we haven't got all day, come and land. Oh, he's landed. I'm assuming it's past this mountain here that I'm just descending over. What? Oh my god. It's a scenery issue. The flipping runway is hovering in the sky for me. Okay. It's got to be interesting. That's what she said. Ooh, got bad turbulence when you start descending in this I've noticed you do get bad turbulence I'm trying to work out where this so-called runway is it's waterfall Please tell me it's not that little thing there that I can see. I don't see it myself. It's just, I've seen two It's literally like on an island, yeah. isn't it? Which is the back end of... Yeah, I can see it. I can just about see it. Well, I'm heading for that anyway. If it's not the runway, guess what? Ah, there it is. Okay, I'm too high. I'm not going to get down. There it is. That's it. We have a splash down. It's going to be somewhat like that, Diablo. I can tell you that now. I'm trying to come off on the power as well so I can get that. I'm sure that's it's the only thing I can Try see. Try land on uh, runway 29. Uh, runway, 20, for. runway 29? Yep. yep. Uh, let's go for three. And let's it's hit number one. <laughs> and let's go for... Select the runway. You said Y29? That looks fun. <laughs> And now it's full stop landing. Uh, announce position, announce on final. Let's have a look, where is it looking for? November 2, left like Foxtrot traffic. Ultralight 3 miles southwest 3500. Inbound to land, runway 2 at 9 or <coughs> Oh, I can see it now. Yeah, 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 I can see it. So 
so you have to go out towards the water and come back in yeah 29 by the looks of things yeah 29 the other direction 29 is where you go off the cliff to get to it I can hear you clicking, 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 so it must be difficult. Oh, yeah, you can do it where you are. That's what I said. Go out towards the water and come back in. There, look. There's only one runway. Two thousand. Why do you keep doing that, really? Doing that again. Well, you've landed anyway. No, I haven't. Uh, Add tech support just uh, got in my way. You're in a micro light. Like, you're not going to need all that runway anyway. Yeah, but he decided to turn around and decided to take off again. And line up on the runway. Wow. I want to get that. I've got, I tried to beat my minus 112, remember? Oh my god, you know what? You'll still sleep tonight, you know, you know that, don't you? <laughs> I ain't going to clip the wing. The micro light. Oh, I get what you mean now. You've not got enough turning circle on that one to go out far, but you have on the other side, haven't you? Yes. Okay, I'm, I'm doing it from this side. Yeah, I found but a little, I found a little gully that comes from the from the right. Oh, I can see where you are. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to have to come in on 62 now. And Adam's messing around on this bloody runway. I suppose if you're low enough, it won't be so bad about your descent, will it? The difference is it's a micro light and they are very uh, nimble aren't they to be fair yeah. Right, a, yeah right I'm coming into land well we're both coming into land then uh, okay I am down Huh? There it is. Well, Dev didn't have that huge mountain on the side. Yeah, because he came in the right way. I've got to go over him now, look. 
Near it. I'm off. Oh, I bounced a little bit. I'm down. And just stopped. Look at that for perfect stopping. Wow. <laughs> Why did you stay on the runway? Why did you not get off? <laughs> on, on right. on Why did Empire not get off the runway? All oh, right. <laughs> Honestly, he stayed there and he should have literally got off the runway straight away. Well, to be honest, I enjoyed that. Even the go around on that was quite good. I did enjoy that one. Right, so we'll just wait for the results, boys. Wow. Lion have a park upside Adam. Yeah, we're going to a park where Adam is then. Yeah, the end of round is DC, whatever it is. <laughs> DC3 should be able to tow us all back. He has to, because I've got, uh, well, 30% fuel. Get off the runway. <laughs> yes. Really trying to move me out the way. Oh, you clipped my wing. I know, because you were on the runway when you shouldn't have been. But why are you... But, you, yeah, never mind. <laughs> but yeah, never mind. Just bounce on the uh, bouncy bounce. Adding tech support only comes to land here to get a picture. <laughs> I'll go the opposite side of him then, eh? Best swap insurance. <laughs> I've not got none. <laughs> Get level with his wing. There we go. There we go. Right. Right, it's brought my first score up. Yeah, it was, uh, right, my second one's just come in. Can't zoom, for some reason I can't zoom out anymore on this one. I can zoom in but not go out as far. Weird. Yeah, I'm going to park my aircraft properly. Well that looks good, you, you sat behind. Oh, that was not good at all. For God's sake, man. Okay, guys, let's have a look what we've got. We should have all got our scores now. Yep. Adam got a 690. Well, that that. I haven't even looked about my scores. Really? Right, okay, so who's gonna go first? Right. Average sync rate minus eight thirty. Okay. What is wrong max. with this thing? It won't um, let me scan this picture. Right. Max sync rate minus one six seven one. Max speed diff seven, max sync rate diff eight four zero, was a foul on that one, and touchdown sync rate minus seven one one. Okay, right. Start that again. <laughs> Start again. <laughs> 
Right, let's go again then. <laughs> right, average sink rate, minus 8.30. Jeez, okay. Max sink rate, minus 1.671. Good God. Max speed diff, 7. Good God. Max sink rate diff, 8.40, which is a fail. Good God. One. And touchdown sync rate, minus 7-1-1. Oh, dear God. Empire, yeah. you're not o getting up. Overall, overall rating of great. That's not too bad, then. Come on, then, you, because you're the one I want. Come on. Okay, minus for the average sync rate is minus 664. Oh, God. Uh, max sync rate, the second one, uh, minus 230. Oh, nice. Um, uh, max speed div is 5. One. Max sync rate div is thirteen th uh, one three three six, which comes as fail. Okay. And the last one. Come on. The major one. Come is on. Minus one hundred and eleven. Oh, you piece of shit! <laughs> <laughs> so I can't swear. I can't swear on my that. stream, right? <laughs> I can't swear on my stream, right? So I'm gonna hold it back. I'm gonna start at the top. <laughs> Average sync rate. I'll bring mine across to the screen because I can't post directly to Discord from this screen. 499, so I'll beat you both. Damn it. Max sync rate, 753, beat you both. Max speed diff, 4, beat you both. Damn it. This is where I lose it. Max sync rate diff, 254, beat dev. <laughs> and <laughs> like a big kid on it. Look, don't you start on me because I swear to God I'm coming for you. I only up the road, you know. Right. The, the well, touchdown, but listen, I did not get a fail on the max sync diff like you two. Ah ha ha. I got okay. Now, because that's the, that's where I was saying about the low being at a low altitude. Uh, touchdown sink rate three four six. <laughs> so they're not bad for fifty because fifty is not the best pilot who's known as the freeway pilot. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> so. Out of all that, do you know if yours says any on it anywhere, Empire, you're a dead man. <laughs> Just posting yours now, aren't you? Hang on. Might take two days to type something. Uh, oh, yeah, don't type nothing. Uh, he's editing it. He's editing it. He better not be editing it. waiting for this to go in Discord. Come on! Oh god, that <laughs> PS not edited. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's out of order. That is well out of order. What was what was your touchdown sync rate? Come on. I've already told you it's uh, minus one one one. But I'm not gonna believe you now. It's on it's in Discord at above devs. Okay, right, anyway, so I did okay on that one, I'm pleased. Guys, that is it for the 50 plus squad on its Friday flight night, which we enjoy so much. Uh, Adam, thank you for joining us on the last flight, mate. Much appreciated. Right then, guys, as you appear in Discord, so we have got Mr. Devex. Would you like to say good night? Let me just get rid of this sound. Would you like to say good night, sir? Good thank night, you, sir. Thank you very much, Adam. Appreciate that. Have a good New Year as well, mate. Uh, Mr. Empire that set the route up that didn't realise that these planes could only fly up 60 bleeding knots. Thank you. <laughs> I enjoyed that. I really enjoyed it. I didn't think I'd enjoy it as much. I was kind of uh, fretting over it, thinking, oh, my God, micro lights. How do you fly them? Would you like to say good night, sir? Good night. And I want to thank all the followers that stayed with us, viewers, and the resubs uh guys do you know something thank you very much for getting me back to my subscription points that i was at the beginning of this year which is absolutely amazing uh, i never disclose it but i'm back to where i was when i was streaming all those months ago which is really really nice for me uh, i want to thank you all for listening understanding and taking the piss out of 50 i love it i enjoy it it's oh, what thanks. makes me stream guys i am going to close discord as of now Good night, boys. Good night, sir. 
And that is it for the squad members. I may stream tomorrow. I may not. If I do stream tomorrow, I am going to try that outstanding game, Transport Fever 2. Um, so from me, thank you very, very much. And I will see you all probably tomorrow. If not tomorrow, we'll be back on Monday, which if I do stream on Monday, I'll be doing Transport Fever. Uh, we're back to um, the normal schedule now, which means on a Tuesday... I will be doing Sherlock Holmes. So guys, thank you very, very much. Have a wonderful new year and thank you for supporting me through this year. Guys, speak to you soon. Good night. You ready? <laughs>
You ready? The 50 Club Games.